Hello and welcome back to Biology 101. In this video, we'll be learning about homeostasis. So what exactly is homeostasis? Homeostasis is a term used to describe our body's tendency to maintain a balanced internal environment. Now you may ask yourself, what exactly do we mean by a balanced internal environment? Well, this means that for every physiological function of the body, there is an optimal range for its internal environment, at which the function works best. Let's look at an example. Let's say that you're going out for a walk in the sweltering summer heat for a few hours. What you'll find as you continue walking is that the longer you stay out, the hotter your body becomes. In fact, if you stay for too long, your body might become overheated leading to you passing out. As we stated before, our body has an optimal range for its internal environment for its various physiological functions. In this case, our body has an optimal temperature of 36.5 to 37.5 degrees Celsius, or 97 to 99 degrees Fahrenheit. Homeostasis is needed to maintain that temperature within our body. So how exactly does homeostasis function? Homeostasis functions in one of two ways, negative feedback loops and positive feedback loops. Negative feedback loops occur when the product of a reaction leads to a decrease of that reaction. To understand this concept, let's look back at our example of walking outside in the summer again. As we stated before, the more you walk outside in the exposure of the sun, the more heated your body will become. However, your body knows that if it becomes too hot, then its function will decrease significantly. As a result, your body produces sweat, which cools the internal temperature of the body down to its optimal temperature. On the other hand, positive feedback occurs when the product of a reaction leads to an increase of that reaction. An example of this that we can observe within our own body is blood clotting. Let's say that you scratch your finger on a paper, resulting in a paper cut. This cut causes the release of a chemical which activates your blood platelets. These platelets will rush to the site of the cut and continue to release a chemical which signals more platelets to activate. Now this process continues to occur until the blood clot is large enough to prevent the bleeding from occurring. So what did we learn in this video? First, we learn that homeostasis is our body's way of maintaining an optimal or balanced internal environment in order to maximize its function. Second, we learn that homeostasis is maintained through negative and positive feedback loops. Negative feedback occurs when the product of a reaction leads to a decrease of that reaction, while positive feedback occurs when the product of a reaction leads to an increase of that reaction. 